Justice Steiner, manager of athletic communications, here with head men's basketball co coach Bert Paddock, alongside senior guard Miles Ballou. Uh, coach, you're into your 16th season here at DU. Kind of talk about what you've seen out of you guys so far in the first couple weeks of practice. You know, a lot of hard work. I, you know, I tell my guys today at practice that basketball is a unique, uh, a unique sport. Uh, you know, basically from the day you get here to the time you leave, it's uh, it's year round. So uh, we ask a lot of them, we demand a lot of them, they put a lot of time and effort in and I, I don't know if I could be more excited about where a team is at right now. I know that we've had some success in the league, we've had another up and down year last year, but this team is just feels different. I can't explain it exactly, I just know what I see and I know that the, the hard work, the effort, the camaraderie and stuff, the way this group gets along, there's so many things that last year we were dealing with that we don't this year, which is a good thing in some respects. Um, but just a, just a great group of kids that are working incredibly hard. I know they've, got, they've set their, their goals awfully high. Just looking to, forward to getting to work with these guys and start the games here soon. And you have a healthy mix of returners and newcomers. First, kind of talk about some of those returners and some guys who made a big impact last season. Yeah, before I go anywhere, you said healthy mix. Yeah, I'm excited about that. We're actually healthy right now. We've had a, in the past, there's been years where you, you have your bumps and bruises and guys can't get through things and uh, injuries and whatnot. You can't control all those things. And right now, knock on wood, our kids are, are incredibly healthy. They're doing a great job that way. Um, returners from last year, uh, Leecho was a fantastic player for us last year, averaged over 20 points a game and was one of the better players in the in the GLIAC. And he's back, uh, will be a very good player for us. And uh, Jakob's back after missing about two thirds of the season after averaging 15 points and eight rebounds. It never hurts to start with those two guys. But we got a bunch of other guys that did good things for us last year. Luke in, a, in his role last year as a freshman got thrust into the starting lineup and did a fantastic job for us at times, but had some learning curves as well. Well, and it was great for him. It's made him a lot better player now. And James Felton's been around forever. He's been around for four years, and, and, and yet he's only a sophomore athletically because of COVID and all that stuff. And super excited where he's come. Big kid, really super athletic. And some of our guards have really made him a lot better player, put him in good positions and stuff. So super excited about all the returners we have, not just those guys, but those are a few. We've got. Um, eight new guys with transfer portal and, and high school kids coming and we look for all those guys to make a huge contribution for us when i say that some will be on the floor some will be on the bench some will be in a red shirt role or whatever but like i tell every kid on our team you all have a major role in our team and can make, can have an impact in where we're going and i feel good about all those kids and where their mindsets are at and all that stuff and the one guy I didn't bring up who he didn't play anywhere last year he was he was with us he was red shirting last year and uh, did a tremendous job working just on himself and, and doing a great job in school all those types of things and uh, man in practice just to have him out there with our guys the guys we have returning and the newcomers uh, he's doing a good, great job uh, of leading those guys and I don't think uh, anybody would I would be remiss if I didn't mention him because I think he's gonna play a huge role in what we do this upcoming season and then when the season comes up, you know, obviously everyone knows who you're going to play in conference. We talk about out of conference a little bit. You're going to head to Missouri, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania early on. A lot of traveling. I'll kind of highlight that non-conference schedule. For you. Well, it's exciting for us. Our first games of the year are crossover games. We go down, we play Rockhurst, and we play William Jewell, who we've done for several years in a row now in the crossover tournament, they call it, and, or crossover games, they call it. And looking forward to that. We've had a lot of luck in that. We've won a ton of games, and last year we did not, did not get started off well. And so I know our kids are chomping at the bit to do that. We go to uh, over Thanksgiving break. It'll be fun for our kids. We'll load up and be gone for four or five days and go to Pennsylvania and spend Thanksgiving together and get to play in two great games at Gannon University and the Hammer Mill Center. It's a really cool school on the lake, and it's also got a really neat atmosphere from a basketball standpoint in the arena that you get to play in there. We'll play great competition there as well. And so we look forward to every game. Those games come and go so fast, man. As a head coach, as I get older, and uh, as you said, I get into my 16th year I can't tell you how much I appreciate every practice uh, just as much as I do the games because I know even for me it's not going to last forever and so I relish these opportunities and uh, this group really makes this a special special day every day when I come to work it's pretty special with this group that we have this year and uh, looking forward to everybody in our league seeing what we have and seeing what we can get accomplished this year. And then Miles you obviously came to DU you didn't play last year what what was kind of the reasoning or what kind of drew you to Davenport? Obviously, you played at Saginaw Valley in the past, another GLIAC school. So kind of talk through that decision making and, and why you ultimately became Panther. Yeah, uh, getting a chance to play against Davenport for three years at Saginaw. Um, I always, always enjoyed playing against them. Uh, they brought a different kind of energy. Um, the athleticism they showed, the style of play that they had, 
Um, it was always something that, that reminded me of the next level. Uh, for any guy who wants to play overseas, pro, any kind of basketball, it's, it's, it's reflected in what we do here at Davenport. So it was always something that I, I, I wanted to come and, come and try out. And at Saginaw Valley, you were there three years, an all GLIAC performer, all three seasons, and like I said, redshirt last year. What have you kind of done in the last season, kind of having that year off, not playing any actual games? What's kind of been, you know, maybe workouts you've gone through or getting mentally right throughout the last year? Yeah, um, again, Davenport is, is, a, is a program that does things at another level. Um, they bring in guys constantly who, who are ready and compete at high levels. So. Um, I know I didn't play last year, but I had a whole season of practice with guys who, who compete hard every day. Um, on the court, off the court, they challenged me in different ways that I haven't had before. Um, I, of course, I've had my own workouts, I've had trainers, I've, I've been able to work with Coach P and Coach Dylan all, all the time, um, as, well as, get, as well as getting uh, work in myself. But um, overall, again, just being around guys 24-7 who, who love to compete, who love to win, um, is, is something that, that I can say uh, Change, change my, uh, my path for the summer. And then Miles, last question. How's practice been so far for you and kind of how's the team gelling together so far in these first couple of weeks? Oh man, uh, th this group of guys is, has, been a, has been a team that I've enjoyed more than any, any of the six seasons that I've had. Um, we, we gel on and off the court more than, more than any other team. Uh, we compete hard, um, maybe sometimes more than necessary, but I mean, uh, there's, there's, never, there's never too much com competitiveness on this team. Um, guys on the court, off the court, we, we love each other, we, we hang out uh, more, than, more than we have in the past, um, and that reflects in, in, in our progress this season. Um, we got some big goals this year, and, and definitely with this group of guys, we, we can definitely accomplish them. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Good luck this year. Thank you.